Sean Cullo at DiscountJuicers.com to have another exciting episode for you. In this episode, we're going to answer the question, should you guys buy the NAMA J2, which has been out for several years now, or the all-new NAMA C2 Juicer Blender Combo that just got released at the end of 2023? Clearly, guys, each one of these machines have their own sets of pros and cons. I will tell you guys, the NAMA J2 has been my favorite juicer pretty much since it's been released. Link down below to my video, why it's my favorite juicer. That being said, the NAMA J2 is no longer my favorite juicer. <laughs> I'm going to say the NAMA C2 is my favorite juicer with blender combo attachment because you could use both and I'll be sharing with you guys why it is in just a little bit in the video. That being said, my name is John Kohler and I've been juicing now for the last 28 years and 25 years ago I started my business, online business, discountjuicers.com selling juicers to you guys out there. In addition, about 15 years ago now I started making YouTube and publishing YouTube videos comparing and contrasting and demonstrating all the different major brand juicers as well as blenders back in the old days and now vacuum blenders so that you guys could purchase the right one for you. So when I say that the Nama C2 is my favorite, I'm not saying that lightly because I have lots I have lots more experience than pretty much anybody in the world testing or selling juicers and more importantly using them on a regular and everyday basis. That being said, as you guys learned, my company name is DiscountJuicers.com because when I started the company 25 years ago, I wanted to get you guys the lowest prices when shopping for a juicer. And I still do that today. So no matter you buy the NAMA J2 or the NAMA C2, I want to save you guys 10% off your purchase by using the coupon code, throw it up right there, both 10 because that coupon code will work on both the NAMA J2 or the NAMA C2 to save you guys 10% uh, off, which at this time is $55 on the NAMA J2 or $80 off on the NAMA C2. Now, when you guys use that coupon code, not only will you save 10% off, but more importantly, NAMA will share with me a small commission so I can continue to make these educational videos for you guys, pay my electricity bill to power my lights, pay my video editor so that she can continue to edit my videos, and of course, buy all my produce and do all the juicing demos that I do to educate you guys about juicers and juicing in general. So I want to thank you guys who have used my coupon code in the past, and I want to thank you guys in advance who will use my coupon code instead of other people online so that I can continue my mission to share with you guys the truth because, you know, as much as I love the NAMA juicer, I have made videos and represent other juicer brands and companies in the United States for many years now. As a matter of fact, I've been in business for 25 years. Anyways, let's get into the heart of this video. So in my videos, if you watch me for any particular amount of time, you know that I go deep and in-depth. I won't just give you a five-minute blurb like, oh, this is the best, buy this. No, I'm going to prove it to you guys and show you guys specifically why I believe this machine, the C2, is better than the J2 in my personal opinion. That being said, for some of you guys, the J2 may make more sense. So you want to pay attention to all areas of this video. I will link timestamps down below. And in this video, I'm going to go over many different things. I'm going to compare what comes with the machines when you buy them to show you guys the differences between the C2 and the J2. I'm going to go ahead and take apart the um, juicer parts on the C2 and the J2 and compare the parts side by side so you could see that they're pretty much almost identical in function. We're going to talk about the different motor bases and how they differ. We're going to talk about the size difference. We're also going to do sound and decibel level testing on the machines. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to give you guys certain scenarios. You know, so say somebody that just wants to do bulk juicing, I'm going to recommend one or the other. Somebody that wants to do, you know, make lifestyle changes, I'm going to recommend one or the other. And that's where it's going to get really interesting because everybody is in a different situation and I don't know your specific situation but I'm going to list a lot of situations and then kind of give my recommendations on which machine you may want to lead towards. So let's get into this video. Alright so the first thing you guys can see I got all the different colors and models of the J2 and the C2 right here to show you guys right now. 
So as you guys can see, the J2 originally came out in the nice white color and the matte black color. They recently came out with a gray color that may be on a temporary basis, although I see that they are maybe taking back orders or you could get notified when it's uh, back in stock. If they do bring it back in stock, um, it looks kind of sharp. So, you know, if you need the gray color, you got to get the J2 because the C2 is not coming in the gray color at this time. That being said, besides the color, the functionality and the whole top parts of all the juicers is the same. It's only the color of the molding on the bottom. The next thing I want to say that's very important is that these are not low end machine guys. These are some of the highest end top end juicers that are built to last. All these machines from the motor bases to the juicer parts have a full 15 year warranty. Same with the NAMA C2. It has a full 15 year warranty on the heavy duty motor as well as 15 years on the juicer parts. And you know, 15 years is pretty much the longest in juicer warranties. But the cool thing is also the C2 has a 15 year warranty on all the blender parts. And we have the black one set up here with the juicer, the white one set up here with a blender. When you buy one, you get both tops. So like we could switch these around if we wanted. We could put that on the, here and this one on here. And that's the amazing thing. This is the C2 or convertible unit. So not only can you now juice, but you could also blend and even vacuum blend as I show in my original unboxing video with the hack that I would recommend to you guys. I'll put a link down below to my original unboxing video on the Namus C2 where I show you with you guys everything you guys get as well as demonstrate on how we can improve your life by allowing you to juice and blend and make delicious recipes. So now that you guys saw all the different available options on the Nama J2 and the C2, let's get into the nitty gritty and compare what is included with each of these machines. So now we're gonna show you guys what you get when you buy the C2, which is over on this side, or the J2. And as you guys can see, you guys get a lot more when you buy the Nama C2. That's one of the many reasons why I like the C2 better is because you get more attachments and more things and there's more capabilities and you can do more than just juice when you get it out of the box. Let's compare. So with the classic Nama J2 machine, you definitely get what you need to juice, including what's not shown is a pusher on both machines for when juicing, as well as a cleaning brush. With the J2, you also get the coarse screen. This is the screen with larger holes. The screen with the small holes that you normally use for juicing is, you know, assembled inside the machine. The large hole screen, uh, Nama formerly called this a smoothie screen. I would say this is probably more apt named a coarse hole screen or a large hole screen if you want to put more pulp in your juice or especially when juicing fruits that is included. You also get a, a NAMA recipe book with juicing recipes. You get a quick start guide as well as the instruction manual. You also get catch cups. It's measured up to 35 ounces there. Maybe holds a little bit more, maybe up to 36 and a juice catch container. Now, for those of you guys that are environmentally friendly and don't like things that are packaged in basically uh, material you have to throw away, that's what the J2 comes in. It comes in a lot of these, uh, you know, plastic bags and these kind of like um, bags that basically just get thrown away after one use. So I'm not a big fan of that. Meanwhile, over on the C2, you get a lot more. So not only do you get the standard juicing parts, which is pretty much identical, as we'll show you guys in a minute, you also get the coarse hole screen that's included with the NAMA J2, but you also get the solid screen, which is used for making frozen fruit sorbets and nut butters. Link down below to my video where I show how to use that. And this is a $50 additional purchase and is not included with the J2, but it is included with the C2. And that's why I like it because you get this, you get everything you need actually with this, with the C2, but not with the J2. Of course, you also get instruction booklet with the C2. You also get a quick start guide. You also get a smoothie soup and sauce recipe book and a juice, nut milks, and sorbet recipe book. So between these recipe books, you probably have about 75 different recipes. That's at least twice as many that comes with the J2 model. In addition, you also have your catch cups. Um, this one is also measured up to 35 ounces, but because this is larger, uh, it'll hold up to 48 ounces all, all up to the top. And if you guys look at the size difference on these, you guys can see the size difference. 
This one's a little bit taller, but more importantly, it's a little bit wider. So yeah, the couch cup is larger. In addition, the pulp catch is also larger, so this is better if you're going to be doing bulk juicing and juicing a lot at once. I find out this oh, empty this a lot on the um, J2, but on the C2, this is a lot larger. So look at the difference in size, guys. You can see it's just a lot taller. And then if you look at it this way, it's a little bit, uh, you know, bigger in the width um, and length as well. So definitely a lot larger. And of course, because this is the C2, you know, so not only do you get the juicing parts, but because it is the C2 or combo two unit with the juicer and a blender, you get a world-class blending carafe that is comparable in performance to the Vitamix based on my testing and testing data I have seen, as well as a tamper, you know, to make uh, sorbets and nut butters, hummuses and other things in the blender. Now the cool thing about the Nama C2 that does not apply to the J2 is that they use all water-based inks and use mostly brown boxes that they pack all the juicer parts into, which is fully compostable. You could use it in your garden for sheet mulching. And in addition, all these different parts of the machine, including the juicer uh, top set, the motor base, the different um, you know blender craft, and these th these uh, catch cups are packed in reusable drawstring bamboo bags. So no more plastic bags, one-time use. You got these nice drawstring bags that you could reuse to buy your produce in, go shopping, store things in, take them when you travel, or whatever you want to do with them. So it's a lot more environmentally friendly uh, you know, on the C2 than the J2. So what do you guys think so far? I really like what the C2 comes with. And um, I forgot to mention that the C2, aside from coming with all this education here, the C2 comes with something the NAMA J2 does not. It also includes an $80 value, Juicing 101 and Blending 101 online course that NAMA put together along with a, a certified plant-based chef and a nutritionist to teach you guys all the ins and outs, the pros and cons of juicing and blending. And we'll share with share those to you guys with a workbook so that you'll learn about how juicing and blending can positively impact your diet and your health. In addition, along with that blending and juicing 101 course, you get a five day and a 14 day plant forward meal plan. So that's why the C2, in my opinion, is a much better value because it'll literally lead you down the path to get you the best machine to make dietary changes and then more importantly, unlike the J2, it will train you with online training for blending and juicing and also more importantly, the five or 14 day meal plan so that you guys could get the health benefits and make those changes in your lifestyle that you could live longer and live a lot healthier because you're now eating more plant-based, especially fruit and vegetables in your diet. So next up, I want to go ahead and compare the juicer parts with you guys on this video to show you guys they're basically almost identical. <laughs> so no matter which one of these machines you're going to get, you're going to get pretty much the same exact performance out of each of them because they use the same juicing parts to extract the same high quality, slow juice, cold press goodness in your glass. Let's go ahead and grab these off the motor bases and show you guys these side by side so you guys can see the actual differences. So I mean, if you look at this, they're pretty much the same. A lot of these parts are actually interchangeable. So we're gonna go ahead and pull up the lids off the hopper and you guys can see these parts basically are identical. I can put this lid over here, it closes. I can put this lid over here and it closes. Next up, we're gonna go ahead and take off the hoppers. This is where the magic happens. And this is why I like the J2 or the C2 in this case more than any other juicer because it has a two liter hopper that you fill up with produce, you shut the lid, you turn the machine on and now you can walk away and do other more important things in your life than sit there and push each item into the juicer that I've done for over 20 years. And I'll tell you guys, it gets old, but I'm so committed, so I've continued to do it. But I know a lot of you guys are not as committed to me as, me, as I am. And that's why the J2 or the C2 is a game changer because you load it up, you could shut the lid, walk away, you come back and you have a juice ready to drink so that you guys can get some health benefits from the amazing fruits and vegetables. Okay, so anyways, with these hoppers, you guys could see 
they're basically the same exact part. They look like the same on the inside. They have the same processing blade on the inside. The bottoms are identical. And likewise, we could, you know, take the one from the C2, put it on top of the uh, J2, locks into place, and the one from the J2 basically locks on into place onto the C2 as well. So the hoppers, 100% identical. All right, next coming out, we got the juicer augers. This is where it gets a little bit interesting. So you guys can see here, these juicer augers are pretty much identical, um, but they're a little bit different. So the top of the auger is the same. It has the same kind of like hex uh, connector on it. The augers look identical. The main difference with the augers is on the bottom. Um, all the, sh the shape of the auger is identical except the mating, how it mates up into the motor base is a little bit different because this is a juicer blender. They had to beef up this part because if you're not juicing in the C2, you're blending and they wanted to make sure it's a nice metal to metal coupling. Unlike a lot of cheap blenders that may use metal to plastic or plastic on plastic couplings. So on the J2, you can see there's a metal shaft that is recessed inside there. This makes this, the J J2, a little bit easier to clean, uh, to access in there. And you can see on the uh, C2, uh, this actually is non-recessed. So it actually comes out and it's a lot thicker piece of metal in there than on the J2. This kind of looks a little bit, you know, wimpy <laughs> compared to this guy. But this guy's a lot more heavy duty. But because this is a lot more heavy duty and, and wider, you know, there's a smaller space in between the uh, shaft and the plastic of the um, auger. So to get in there, it's a bit more difficult. I haven't noticed any kind of major issues with pulp getting trapped in there. Sometimes there's a little pulp. I just spray water on there. And with a special cleaning brush, it has a special screwdriver tool. You could get in there to clean it out should you need. But yeah, the shape of the auger is the same. The only difference is the connector on the bottom. So the auger's are not interchangeable right next coming out we got the juicing screen on both machines plus the automatic wiping blade and if we take out the juicing screen and wiping blade from the c2 we could drop it right in to the j2 and vice versa that's because these parts are identical to each other once again you know this uh, wiping blade just spins around and it's like windshield wipers for your car, so it keeps the juicing screen cleaner, which makes your job of cleaning it after you're done a little bit easier. Um, in addition, this has a nice design on the screen, so unlike other juicers that have a screen that may get, you know, ground in pulp in the screen, this doesn't ever seem to get like super ground in pulp on the screen, so it's a lot easier to clean. But yeah, once again, the screens are identical, so what does that mean? That means pretty much you're gonna get the same exact performance no matter which one of these two machines you buy. All right, that leaves us with the final juicing part, which is the juicing bowl. Now, although these juicing bowls look very similar, yes, they are different. So while they do both have a spout cap that you could open and close to let the juice come out or stop it and mix inside the machine, I always encourage you guys to leave it open so you get a little bit higher yield and you're not aerating your juice as much. And this also has the quick release for the pulp area. So you could actually just clean out all the pulp when you're done juicing. It has it on both machines. It's totally identical. So what is different on these juicing bowls are the bottoms. So if you guys see in the middle of this, there's a little arrow and there's no indentation right here, but there's an indentation here and here. But on the J2 version, there's an indentation here. And basically, these are alignment indentations that, that, that tell the juicer that it could sit on there and lock in a place. So we can't take the J2 version and fit it on the C2 because it just doesn't lock in a place. It's really loose, doesn't lock in a place. Likewise, we can't take the C2, drop it in the J2 because it's just loose and it doesn't fit in properly. So, you know, the only thing is just these little um, knockouts here. In addition, the other thing that is different is the gasket in the middle. So if you guys look in the middle, there's a little uh, black silicone gasket. It's a lot larger on the C2 to account for the larger motor shaft because it's a little bit more heavy duty on the C2 than the smaller shaft on the Nama J2. 
But otherwise, in these small adjustments in how it sets up on top of the motor base or this, the whole size of the shaft, these parts are identical and work exactly the same. All right, so as you guys learn, the parts are pretty much identical except for the augers that are basically the same except for how it connects to the motor bases there. Once again, these kind of connect like that. And these are non really interchangeable. This won't really sit on there and this won't really sit on there. That's why they did it. Um, also, of course, the bowl is not interchangeable, but the bowl design is pretty much the same. So that's all the parts. But what is different about these machines, because the juicer parts are the same, is the motor bases themselves. So the motor base on the J2 is more compact. It's a little bit shorter, has a smaller footprint. When you pick it up, it's a lot lighter, guys. This is about 8.2 pounds if you weigh it out. So you could easily pick this up and put it away in the cupboards if you don't want to leave your juicer on your kitchen countertop like I do. Whereas on the C2, this unit is, while it's about the same width, it's also a lot more deep. And if you pick this unit up, and I wish they had some kind of handles on it, which they don't. Ugh! This thing, guys, is a monster. It is 16.2 pounds. That weighs more than any kind of juicer motor base or even more than most blender bases out there. That's because they got a solid performance motor in here that is more efficient than other blender motors that I've tested in the past. In addition, while the RPMs when you're using the juicing function on the C2 run at the same 50 revolutions per minute as on the J2, what I have noticed is that this seems to be a little bit more oomph, have a little bit more oomph, like be more powerful. So to me, this has a little bit more torque. And like to me, this machine stops a lot less than the NEMA J2, which actually rarely ever stops. I find that this just works a little bit better than the J2 basically grinding through the produce because it is pretty much almost double the weight of the motor. And to, it to me, seems like it has more torque and a little bit more power, if we should say that, despite running at the same amount of RPMs. Now, the other thing that's different about the C2 than the J2 is how high it is. This is a lot taller, which to me means I can fit a much larger bowl to catch my juice when juicing, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. Anyways, let's go ahead and assemble both the machines. This is where it's also a little bit different. With the all new C2 juicer, you can assemble the machine on top of the motor base. I'm glad NAMA did this because it was a big problem with the original unit that you could not assemble on the motor base. So to assemble the C2, you're gonna go ahead and take the juicing bowl, just drops into place. You're gonna go ahead and then take the wiping blade and the juicing screen, shove those together. There's a little um, half moon and a half moon, one smaller, one's larger. You're gonna just line them up into the larger and smaller sizes. Drop that into place. You're gonna go ahead and then take your auger. Your auger just drops right into place. You gotta make sure it's fully seated and goes down. The auger should be uh, level with the juicing screen or it's not assembled properly. You can then take your top hopper and you're gonna line up this back part and they have a little sticker on this now and a sticker here to line it up. You're going to basically just offset it from the back and then line it up so that your handle is always above uh, the measuring uh, points on the juicing bowl. And then you can take your lid and drop your lid in place and just shut it and you are all assembled. Meanwhile, over on the J2, you need to assemble this off the machine because if you assemble it on the machine, it will not allow you to assemble it properly but pretty much the same way. You're gonna take the wiping blade, put on the juicing screen. Once again, drop these in. This is like so simple, a dummy could do it. <laughs> take the auger, drop it in place. Once again, the, the auger and the screen needs to be, uh, you know, at the same level. And then we're gonna go ahead and take the hopper. And I wanna show you guys from the backside what it looks like. We're just gonna offset this um, from this here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and lock it into place so it's fully lined up. Once again, your handle needs to be directly over uh, the, the numbers there and then we're just going to go ahead and take the hopper lid and lock it into place. Once we have this fully assembled, we can just drop it on top of the motor base and you're all ready to juice. So next up, what I want to do for you guys is a sound test to show you guys how each of the mach these machines sound. While they do sound very similar, they're a little bit different. 
So we got my sound meter here, so let's go ahead and turn it on. And let's go ahead and test the decibel level with the J2. So we're like basically averaging 62 to 63 decibels. You could hear how it sounds, just a slow grumble. And then over on the C2, we're going to go ahead and put it into the um, juicing mode, or the on position. And we're going to press the start button. So on this, you have to turn it and then press the start button. On the J2, you just turn it to the side you want and leave it in that position. I kind of prefer the, prefer the stop and start button of the C2. So let's go ahead and start this up. And it also has a little count up timer. So it'll tell you how long you've been juicing. And it'll cut off automatically after 30 minutes, which is the recommended juicing time, at which time you should let the machine rest, cool down, and then continue to juice. That being said, I've juiced up to an hour in this machine without any issues. I've also juiced an hour in this machine without any issues as well. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see how loud it is. All right, so we are at a range from 60 to 63. And as you guys heard, it is a little bit more of a lower pitch grumble. To me, that means like, man, it's like a more beefy motor in there. And it's a little bit quieter at the same time. I mean, pretty much these are slow juicers, so they're much quieter than high-speed machines out there. Even when I compared the NAMA J2 against a Chinese knockoff, it was like 10 decibels quieter. And if you want it even quieter, this is maybe a decibel or two quieter than the original. But for all practical purposes, it's a wash. All right, so next up, I want to show you guys the different sizes of these two machines. So we're going to go ahead and do some measurements on them. Um, first, we're going to go ahead and measure the name of J2. So on the J2, looks like we're approximately uh, five and a half inches wide. And then over on the C2, looks like we're about six inches wide. So it's a little bit wider on the C2. The depth of the J2, approximately seven inches deep. But this is where the C2 is a lot more deep. This one's about 11 inches deep, so that's a lot deeper than the J2. And as I said earlier, the, the motor base basically weighs about double, <laughs> 16 pounds. And then the height of the C2, it's approximately uh, 20 and 1 eighth um, when juicing. It's a little bit taller uh, when you got the blender attachment on there. And on the NAMA J2, it's approximately... 17 and three quarters so it's definitely going to be a little bit shorter so you know the standard counter top height between your kitchen counters and your cabinets are maybe 16 inches so neither of these machines will fit my cabinets seem to be about 19 inches so the j2 will barely fit underneath but definitely the c2 would not that being said let me show you guys why i really like the c2 because how i juice is i do what's called bulk juicing and I used to do this in the J2. So with the J2, I like to use a super large anchor hawking. It's an eight cup mixing bowl that fits right under the lid, the, the spout of the J2. I could put a sieve on there as well. But over on the NEMA C2, right, I could I use this same bowl, but then it looks like super small. I was like, man, it's super small and it wasn't really working right. So I'm like, let's get a bigger bowl. So I found this bowl, which is actually made for a KitchenAid. This is like a whopping five quart bowl, guys. It's a lot larger than my two quart bowl. So it's perfect for catching all my juice. Now this will set you back a pretty penny and I do recommend getting the KitchenAid brand. There's a lot of knockoffs like, that are look like this that are made in China. This one happens to be made in Italy. Um, and then check this out, guys. This is the perfect size to put under the NAMA C2, I put my sieve here and I could catch like, you know, five quarts of juice in one fall swoop versus two quarts. So that's why I really love the taller um, C2 so I could put a bigger catch bowl so I need to empty it less. That being said, when this is full of juice, this thing gets rather heavy because this glass is already rather heavy. And when it's full of juice, it's even a lot heavier. Also, of course, the pulp catch um, also is uh, larger as well and you could catch more pulp in the pulp catch bin than with the J2. So while you guys just learned that the C2 is larger than the J2, 
what we're forgetting is that the C2 also functions as a blender. We just literally put the top set on for the blender on top of the C2. And now instead of juicing, it says blend. And now you could select pre-programmed functions to do your blending tasks that basically like the juicer. You fill it up, load it, you shut the lid, you walk away. You press one of the pre-programmed functions, press the button, you walk away. It varies the different blending speeds up to 26,500 RPMs and will finish. So your blended smoothie could be done in just one minute. You come back and you have a blended smoothie ready to go. Now, while this is a little bit larger um, motor base than the J2, what really happens is that this is taking the place of a blender and a juicer. So in that case, this will actually save you guys space. So I want to demonstrate that right now for you guys. So as you guys can see here, we have the C2 juicer blender, right? That takes up less footprint on your counter and boom. Now you guys can see we have a Nama J2 and the Vitamix, which takes up even more counter space than having one appliance. So if counter space is at a premium, in your house, you want to go for the C2 instead of the blender and the juicer. So, poof! <laughs> Everybody should own a C2. All right, so what do you guys think so far? Do you like the NAMA C2 or the original J2, right? Each of them has their own pros and cons, and I've shared why I like the C2, primarily because of the more torquey motor. I can put a larger collection cup underneath there, and it just seems to work a bit better and is a little bit more quieter, has a nice solid rumble to it when it runs. Of course, I could also do the blending so I could get rid of my blender and now just have one appliance. So now I wanna get into specific situations because I don't know what situation you guys are in to share with you guys if you guys should buy the J2 because it's gonna serve you better or the C2. So say you're on a budget and you just want the machine that's gonna juice for you and you need to save money, right? Then honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys, buy the J2 because it costs less, right? Um, it's about $200 more if you're gonna get the sorbet attachment with the J2 to get the C2, but for that $200 extra, dollars, you not only get the Blender Craft and you get a full featured, you know, Vitamix performance, um, quality blender, but you also get the educational components that are especially important if you guys want to make dietary changes and get into a plant for a diet. We're eating more plants because all the studies and published science shows that by eating more plants and especially diversity of plants, you're going to be healthier, you're going to live longer, and have a better diversity of your microbiome that plays a big impact in your health. If you guys like machines that have multi-functions, right, you don't just wanna buy a juicer alone, you wanna be able to do a lot more with that, then honestly guys, buy the C2. Not only can you do the juicing with the small hole screen, you can do the coarse hole screen juicing to put more fiber in your juice, perfect for when you're juicing fruits. You could also make the sorbets and nut butters with the included sorbet uh, attachment with the C2. In addition, you could do everything a blender could do and more, <laughs> you know. So you could do the standard blending to make the nut butters, to make your smoothies, to make your sauces, you know, make hot soups. You could crush ice. It has an auto clean function. Once again, check my unboxing video where I demonstrate the auto clean function of the juicer as well as the blender. You're not going to see this on other channels. So that's what I would say. You know, if you want the versatility, honestly, the C2 is the way to go because the juicer just allows you to make juice, sorbets, and nut butters. Also, of course, both these machines could make the nut milks. And of course, I would use the C2 over the J2 for making the nut milks. So if you guys want the most space-saving machine to do juicing, then I would say get the J2. It is physically a smaller footprint on your countertop than the C2. That being said, if you guys want to save space and maximize your space with a juicer and a blender, there's no other better appliance that I've ever seen in the world than the C2. Because as I showed you guys earlier, the C2 takes the place of both a juicer and a blender and will actually take less space on your countertop than a juicer and a blender would. If you guys want to do bulk juicing, then I'm going to honestly tell you guys, get the C2. Because it is taller, has a little more beefy motor in my opinion, it's gonna be better for bulk juicing. And actually that's why I like it because I pretty much only bulk juice and it makes bulk juicing so much easier. That being said, while this machine is not rated for commercial use, 
Um, you know, some people use the J2 in juice bars, for example, that do not require NSF. You could use the C2, and I believe that would be a better thing to do because the C2 even has a more powerful motor, in my opinion, than the J2. Although I have not confirmed that with the company themselves, but from my observations when juicing with it, it just seems a bit more beefy. So if you guys are into getting into juicing and more importantly making other lifestyle changes and eating healthier because, you know, the health of Americans are failing them because of all the fast food, junk foods, and ultra processed foods that people are eating, then honestly, while the juicer is going to be great to do that, I would say honestly, get the C2. The C2 is a game changer because now not only can you juice with it, you could also make smoothies with it. It also comes with all the different books that you guys saw earlier, the recipe books with over 75 different recipes, as well as the $80 value Juicing 101 and Blending 101 courses, plus a five-day and a 14-day meal plan that has been fully set up so that to make sure you get all your different nutrients you need from a new, by a nutritionist and also it tastes great because a plant-based chef that actually I know personally put all the recipes together. So this machine is going to be a lot better for you guys to make the dietary changes and lifestyle changes that you desire than just simply the J2 would. So if you want to get a machine that looks a lot better, right, and <laughs> has more visual appeal, I have to honestly tell you guys. I like, personally like the look more of the J2. It looks more modern, and this to me is like, kind of like, I don't know, I want to call it a brick or anything, but if you look at on the, by the side, I mean, that's a pretty much a big brick on your countertop. <laughs> so yeah, the J2 I think looks better, but to me, I'm all about the functionality, and I don't know what you're into, <laughs> but functionality-wise, the C2 rocks it over the J2, but for looks, I'm at the same man, go with the J2. So if you guys have a large family, then honestly, I have to tell you guys, get an MSC2. Why? If you have a large family, maybe not every one of your children or your husband or your wife will be into juicing, but they'll drink a smoothie or vice versa. Plus, in addition, because this machine is more heavy duty, has a heavy duty motor in there, it can handle all the use that your big family is going to put to it. So whether you want to juice or blend or do a combination juice and blend, so you can like juice to make like a carrot juice and then blend that up with some, you know, frozen fruits to make a carrot fruit smoothie, for example, you guys could do it all in the C2. So if you guys only want to juice because you have some belief that juicing is better than blending, and the honest truth is, guys, each one has their own pros and cons and has somebody into health for the last 28 years, I recommend you guys do both blending and juicing. Actually, I recommend vacuum blending, which you could use the C2 as a vacuum blender. Check my link down below to my unboxing video where I reveal the hack so that you guys could do that. Um, but both juicing and blending have their own sets of pros and cons, and honestly, I recommend you guys do both of them. But if you want to juice alone, then honestly, I'm going to tell you guys, don't waste your money on the C2. The J2 is going to be pretty much the same exact results as the C2 when using it as a juicer function. Plus to boot, I think it looks nicer and it costs less money. So if you're one of those tree huggers out there, and hey, I love tree huggers. <laughs> I'm kind of one myself and you want to have something that's more environmentally friendly, then honestly, I'm going to tell you guys, get the C2. All the packaging in the C2 is using water-based inks. It's fully compostable. You could use it for sheet mulching. And in addition, it doesn't have all the plastic packaging, the throwaway plastic packaging that every different packaged product you buy usually comes with. It has reusable drawstring bamboo bags that you could use for shopping your produce or reusing for travel or whatever, have a bug out bag, and that's why I really love the C2. It's a lot more environmentally friendly, according to all the packaging, than the J2, which still comes in the plastic. Which product is better if you guys live off the grid? Then honestly, I'm gonna tell you guys, you guys wanna get the C2. You know, what I'll share with you guys is not in any other videos, but what it's this. In the other room, um, that's next to this room, I have a machine that draws lots of current and it's always running pretty much 24 seven a day. And when I do demos in here with a high speed blender, such as a Vitamix, a Dynapro, or even the Kuvings, and I run it too long, it blows my circuit breaker. And then I gotta stop the video, pop the circuit breaker, turn off the other machine, and then finish doing my uh, blending inside here. That's because most blenders are like a thousand watts and they advertise the watts as a good thing. This is more watts, so it is more powerful as what people believe in their mind right? Wattage does not necessarily equal power. 
And what I'll tell you guys is this, in my unboxing video for the C2, when I'm using this very blender container, and I blend for seven minutes on high speed straight, right? The other appliance in my other room that draws lots of current continued to run, and this did not blow my circuit breaker. And when, I, when it was done blending, I'm like, wow, this ran for seven minutes without blowing my circuit breaker, but it produces similar results to the Vitamix. And then I thought, why is that? And then like, of course, I find out that this motor is a 200 watt motor, right? Yes, this is also a 200 watt motor, but this 200 watt motor, right, what, number one, weighs 16.2 pounds, but while they do reduce the speed down to 50 revolutions per minute to run with the juicing parts, it can run as fast as 26,500 RPM for the blender parts and does it very efficiently with a lot of torque and power. So I don't know how they achieve this, but they've done an amazing job being able to basically crank out of a 200 watt motor a lot of power similar to what uh, Vitamix at a thousand watts would put out as well. So if you guys are living off the grid, you guys know every watt counts and you can't be running high power machines or it'll you know use up your battery electricity. Likewise, if you're traveling on the road and you want to be able to blend using a power inverter in your car, right, a Vitamix, a lot of power inverters will not work with a Vitamix, but it will work with this machine because it is only drawing 200 watts unlike a uh, high power Vitamix. So that I really like as well. This is power savings. So this is actually gonna save you guys some money if you're on the grid. When you're blending, it's gonna cost you less money to blend in this than a Vitamix as well. So for that reason, that's why I like the Nama C2. So you guys already own a high-end blender that you're in love with and you love, say you already own a Vitamix or other blend tech or other high-end blender that you love, and you're considering getting the C2 or the J2, honestly, guys, I'm going to say if you love your blender already and it's a high-power blender and you love it, just keep your blender, use that, and then end up buying the J2. You don't, you guys don't need to, you know, replace your current high-end blender with the C2. I mean, I wouldn't, but you guys might want to. But honestly, I'm going to tell you guys, keep your high-end blender and then just buy the J2 so you guys get the benefits of juicing with the J2. You don't need to buy the C2 and then have duplicate appliances in your house. That being said, if you have an inexpensive blender such as a Ninja or a Hamilton Beach or one of those cheap blenders you just got it like the department store, right? And you're just really not happy on how it performs. It never really grinds up things to a nice fine consistency and you're just like you've always wanted to buy a Vitamix, right? And now you're looking into buying a juicer. Well, that's why they created the Nama C2 so that you guys could not only have the one of the best performing juicers in the market, right? You could also have a high-end blender at the same time in one package. And like I showed you guys earlier, it's gonna save counter space on your counter, and this blender is gonna perform lots better <laughs> than a cheap blender, and even up to par with something like a Vitamix. I'll be doing future demos on this channel, so make sure you click the subscribe button and make sure you click the little bells to get notified when I do direct comparison tests between the C2 and a Vitamix so you guys could learn the difference. So those are all the different specific scenarios that I could think of, but if you have your own specific scenario, hey, please post it down below in the comments. I try to respond to comments whenever I'm able, um, and I'll let you know which one might be better for you. But here's the thing, guys, right? Each one of these machines have their own sets of pros and cons. To me, I really love the C2, as I've explained earlier, but for some people, it may not be the right choice. The J2 would be a much better choice for you. But no matter which choice you choose, I got your back because I'm going to hook you guys up with a 10% off coupon code. Throw it up right there. Both 10. B-O-T-H 10. That'll save you guys 10% off either one or both if you guys want to buy both of them of these machines, the J2 or the C2 to save 10% off your purchase and like I did mention earlier both these machines are covered by a full 15 year warranty on the motor the top set the motor the top set and even the blender craft and blending parts on the C2 which is the longest warranty for a blender so know this no matter which machine you guys buy you're gonna be covered by the 15 year warranty and the amazing support that the Namawell team provides for you guys Nama is also a family-owned company that I speak with the a CEO on a regular basis, or at least text him um, almost weekly uh, to, to make sure that he's following up and taking care of all my customers that I refer to him. So not only when you guys use that coupon code, both 10, right, you will save 10% off 
the machines, but more importantly, Nemo will share with me a small commission so I could continue to make these educational videos for you guys, share with you guys my expert opinions, as well as showing you guys the truth about the machines going over part by part. You're not going to hear this on other, other influencers' web pages, right? I represent all the different major brands, and I just want you guys to have the best information so that you guys can make the best choice for you. And that's why I spent part of my day to put this video together for you guys, and I hope you guys appreciate it. And show me your appreciation by using my coupon code. So I want to thank you guys in advance uh, for using my coupon code for those of you guys that will. And write that down right now. Both 10 will save you guys 10% off either one of these two machines. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode today learning about the NEMA J2 and the all new NEMA C2. And learning which one may be better for you and how they're different and also how they are the same. Be sure to watch my original NEMA C2 unboxing video where I show how I juice and blend in and actually use both those to make an amazing hot soup in the NEMA C2 juicer. If you guys enjoyed this episode and want more videos about the C2, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and more importantly share this with other people that are looking for a juicer and or blender combo or just a juicer so that they can upgrade their health and their life by getting more plants into them and eating a plant-forward diet. Also, be sure to leave your comments down below. If you have any questions that I did not answer in this episode, please post your comments down below. I try to check the comments whenever I'm able and personally respond to you guys so you guys get the best information to make the best informed choice on your kitchen appliance purchase. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you don't miss out on my new and upcoming episodes that will be coming out every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning or what new unboxing or comparison I'll be doing. And make sure you click the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos and you get notified. Finally, be sure to check my past episodes. The past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 700 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to you guys all about the different juicers and blenders on the market. I'll put a link down below to my original unboxing of the C2 as well as a bunch of my videos juicing in the NAMA J2, especially my video on the 10 things they won't tell you about the NAMA J2 where I share some of my secret tips and tricks you guys aren't going to hear on any other channel. So with that, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.